in June of 2021, a shocking crime rocked the city of Bulawayo. A woman named Ndombigai Senlovo stabbed her live-in boyfriend, Nicholas Mavura, to death with a kitchen knife. The motive was she wanted to reconcile with her ex-husband, whom she had left four years ago. Lovo and Mavura had been childhood friends who started a relationship after Lovo separated from her former husband. They lived together in Mavura's family home in Juve suburb, where they were known to drink beer regularly at a nearby bar. But Lovo was not happy with Mavura and secretly planned to go back to her former husband. On Saturday, June 18, 2021, Lovo and Mavura had a heated argument over their relationship. Lofu then told Mavura that she wanted to end their affair and return to her ex-husband. Mavura was furious and refused to let her go. In a fit of rage, Lofu grabbed a kitchen knife and stabbed Mavura once on the left side of the chest. Mavura collapsed and died on the spot. Lofu then tried to cover up her crime by making a false report to the police. She claimed that Mavura had arrived home bleeding profusely after being attacked by unknown assailants. She pretended to be shocked and grief-stricken, hoping to escape prison. But the police were not convinced by her story. They found inconsistencies in her statements and evidence that contradicted her version of events. They also interviewed witnesses who had heard the couple fighting before Mavura's death. Lovo was arrested on Sunday the 19th of June 2021 and confessed to the murder. She led the police to recovery of the kitchen knife she had used to kill Mavura. She appeared before magistrate. She appeared before a magistrate on Monday the 20th of June 2021 and was remanded in custody. She faced a charge of murder with actual intent which carries a possible death penalty in Zimbabwe. She managed to get bail. Mavura's family is devastated by his death. He left behind two children from a previous marriage who were in their early 20s. His relatives said they had many questions and no answers about why Nlofo had decided to kill him. They described him as a friendly and cheerful person who did not deserve such a brutal end. Nlofo's case sparked a public outcry and a media frenzy. Many people wondered what drove her to commit such a heinous act. Some speculated that she was mentally unstable or that she was under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Others blamed her ex-husband who had allegedly lured her back with promises of money and love. Some even suggested that Ndlovo was a victim of domestic violence and that she acted in self-defense. But the truth may never be known. Ndlovo's trial is still pending at the time of this documentary. She has not yet entered a plea or given full explanation of her actions. She killed her lover for a man who had abandoned her, and in doing so, she has destroyed two lives and shattered many more.